Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polar. In today's video, we're going to look at the new Lineage View in Power BI Workspaces. Let's check it out. Today, we're going to take a look at the new Lineage View in Power BI Workspaces. And specifically, we're going to see how this new view can help us better understand the contents of our workspaces, the relationships between those uh, contents, and how we can both understand problems and avoid them before they occur. Let's jump in and take a look at a workspace. So as you can see here, we have a relatively straightforward workspace. We have two dashboards, two reports, two data sets, and a whole bunch of data flows. We've got six different data flows that tie them together. Now, looking at this in this list view, the contents of a workspace are very familiar. But if we wanted to understand, for example, if I were to update a given data flow or an entity in a data flow, what are the reports or dashboards that might be affected? Or more specifically, what might break if I change something? This is a question that's difficult to answer today. But now, currently in preview, Power BI has introduced a new lineage view that allows us to see the same workspace contents graphically with all of the relationships visible and highlighted. Now here we're looking at the same workspace with the same contents, but now we have more insights because of the way that we're viewing it. Let's start all the way on the left and work our way to the right. First, I'll zoom in a little so we can see things a little bit more clearly. And here on the left, we can see that all of the data sources that are used inside this workspace whether they're used directly by a data set or by a data flow, they are available and we can see the gateways that are used to access them if they're getting their data through a gateway. I can also see all of the data flows that are pulling in data from these sources and I can see the data flows with their linked and computed entities that are pulling in data from these upstream data flows. I'll zoom back out just a little as I scroll further to the right, I can see that these data flows are being used by multiple data sets, and the data sets are used for the reports and the dashboards downstream. Now, zooming all the way back out here to view all of the contents, this is useful in and of itself. So this view is something that allows us to easily, in a single screen, see all of the contents all of the dependencies, all of the relationships between them so that I can better understand what's in my workspace than I could if I was simply looking at the list view. But the real power comes into the interactivity of this view. And if we click on this double arrow icon, again, I will zoom back in. If we click on the double arrow icon for any of these objects, the view will be updated so that only those objects that are related to, so either that this object depends on or that depend on this object, only these are highlighted and the relationships between them are highlighted as well. So when I click on this one data set, I can see that one of the reports and both of the dashboards get data from this data set. And I can see that this data set eventually gets its data from all of the upstream data flows but I can select any one of these objects and have that full end-to-end -end impact analysis view, allowing me to understand both where do I need to look to understand the sources of the data being used by this object, and for me to understand if I were to make changes to a given object, what are the impacts? What could break or what could change when I change a given object in my workspace? And with this new lineage view, you'll now have the ability to see the contents of your workspaces in a new and more insightful way so that you can easily and visually understand all of the relationships and dependencies between every object in your workspace. We'll see you next time.